He said this. Look at it. Verse number uh, 24. Proverbs 124. Because I have called and you refused. I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But you have set it not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose a fear of the Lord. I hate to tell you this this morning. It puts a fear and reverence in my heart for God, but the day's going to come that the world's going down. The world's going to be turned into hell, and they're going to say, but wait a minute, God, wait a minute, God. And God will laugh at them just like they're laughing at Him now. That's not the God you, some of y'all believe in. The God some people believe in is a nice, polite, wonderful, loving, and we've invented this God that would never get mad and never. Did. He said, I'll laugh, I'll mock when your fear cometh. Are you listening? Are you listening to me? All right. Do you realize what people have gone through? The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Romans 1.18 Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God showed them to them. You know what that verse is saying? You know what that verse is saying? People deliberately ignored him. They rode past churches for 30 and 40 years. They spent every Friday, Saturday night in a nightclub getting drunk. They partied. They shacked up. They laughed at everything he said. They mocked at what he said. And one day at the great white throne, the angel will take them and get ready to cast them into hell. And the Lord says, Ha! He said, Brother Danny, I never pictured God like that. Well, let's look a little more in Scripture. Look a little bit more in the Scripture. When the right wine press is full, the cup of indignation runs over. All the cussing, all the joking, all the parties, all the rape, all the murder, his long suffering will then end, my friend. I've preached for years. And I show on video, I've got tons of stuff at home where I do video presentations on rock musicians taking the stage and literally mocking God. And some of them you can't even show in church because they're cussing Jesus Christ and calling him every imaginable filthy name you can think of. Blank God! Blank God! Blank Jesus! That's this world! Do you realize how people have been treated in this world, people? You need a good smack into reality once in a while? Do you realize what's going on? Do you realize while you rode in your nice car to church and eat plenty of food yesterday and eat again this morning that a lot of the world don't get to live like you live? You know what they've done to Christians before? They bury them in the sand. They bury them in the sand up to their neck and put honey all over their faces and head and then turn jars full of army ants loose on them. Let the ants start biting them and eating at their face. So they eat, eat it off. They, I, I, when the guy screams for three days, and when ant, ants grow in one eye and come out the other before he dies. God sits there in heaven saying, please, come to me, get saved. In Germany, they'd tie a guy's hand behind his back in them concentration camps, and stick an eight-inch probe inside him and punch his intestines with them. That's just a little bit. You ever had a kidney stone? Kidney stone would feel like a picnic compared to that. And God was long-suffering and let it go, and let it go. In Vietnam, they'd tie their hands behind them and they'd put a bird cage over their head. Tied it up and put rats, rats in there. Let the guy let him eat the guy's face off. He's screaming there two or three days before he finally died. Blood and, and, and rats. What a way to go. That's man. That's the progress of mankind. That's these wonderful. You know, in Germany, 
You know them educated people that done that? Some of the highest intelligence worked for Hitler. That's how man goes without God. And then they get on the radio and make fun of God. I'll give you some quotes. A bumper sticker I saw. Sorry I missed church Sunday. I was practicing witchcraft and being a lesbian. Quote, religion is a joke. Quote, people too stupid to understand science and too lazy to think for themselves. That's what they call Christians. Quote, Andrew Carnegie, Carnegie Hall, New York. I don't believe in God. My God is patriotism. All thinking men are atheists, Ernest Hemingway. George Bernard Shaw, the faith of believers being happier than, than sinners are the same as a drunk man being happier than a sober man. He just don't know what he's talking about. Rock songs. What if God was one of us? Just a slob like one of us. And the Lord sits there and sits there day after day, week after week, Year after year, folks, I'm telling you, when he finally lets go, you better hope you ain't in the way. You better hope you ain't in the way. Kathy Griffin stands in Hollywood. You've seen me. She takes that little Emmy or Grammy or whatever it is, and she stands and raises it up like this, and everybody dies laughing. And she says, some people come up here and thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that nobody had less to do with this than Jesus. So, and then she says, Blanket, Jesus, this award is my God now. And they all laugh. I'm telling you something, the day's going to come. The day will come. The day will come. Ted Turner, who owned CNN, and Turner broadcast it for a long time. I don't think he does now, but I start out. He said, I've had a few drinks and a few girlfriends. If that's going to put me in hell, so be it. Let's party. Let's life cut up. Oh, yeah? Get that number. One ready. No, what? Bill Maher said that the most ridiculous, silly story, story he's ever heard in his life was the virgin birth and Jesus coming that we celebrate here at Christmas time. All I can say is, behold the goodness and the severity of God. God's awful good. They ain't a one of us could just sit back and let them do that without stopping it. But I'm going to tell you something, son, when he finally does, when God's wrath is finally poured out, you better hope and pray to God you're on the right side. All right? Listen to this. No. That there's an invisible man living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day and the invisible man has a special list of ten things he does not want you to do and if you do any of these ten things he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time but he loves you Very funny, right? Very funny. All right? Give me some volume on this thing, please. Let's take our Bibles. Did it go out? I want to show you another verse of Scripture. Let's look at another verse of Scripture here. Psalm 37. And I'm going to show you this and I'll be through. Psalm 37. The day God laughs, the day God laughs, people, Psalm 37, and if you would please look at verse number 12, Psalm 37, 12, the wicked plotteth against the just, what you just got through listening to, the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth on him with his teeth. Verse 13, the Lord shall laugh at him. For he sees his days are coming. Now, if you got a problem with that, you got a problem with him, not me. 
Don't write me emails, all you people on the internet, and say I don't love people. I love people enough to tell you the truth. And God is not an old Santa Claus sitting in heaven that's just going to let everything go. The day is coming in life. Can you imagine? God is dead. The Bible's a lie. Ha, ha, ha. All you preachers are hypocrites. Ha, ha, ha. What a joke. Ha, ha, ha. Judgment of God. Angel, take him, bind him hand and foot, and cast him into everlasting fire. Ha, ha, ha. That's how much he hates sin. That's how much he hates sin. You say, I don't love a God like that. You got one choice. If you hate him, you know where you're going to wind up? You're going to wind up in hell, buddy. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. God is dead. Yeah, whatever. The wicked plots against the righteous and seeks to destroy him. The wine press is full. The cup runs over. It's filled to the brim. God loves you this morning. Right now, he cared enough about you to let his son die on the cross for your sins. And he'll save you and forgive you right now today. But you've got to understand, the day's going to come when mercy's over and judgment starts. And he who laughs last will laugh best. You know what makes people keep on sinning? They get away with it a day or two, another day or two, another day or two. They say, well, I've been doing this for some years. Nothing ain't happened. But what that is, it's the long suffering of God. God sat in heaven last night and watched them light life at him all over this world. Last night, Friday night, Christmas parties that turned into orgies and drunken mess. And the Lord just sat there. That's his long suffering. But he's storing up wrath. And the day's going to come when he'll let go. That's laughter in the Bible. You want a life last? Get your heart right with God. And get in the Lord life with us in heaven one day when we have the victory forever and ever and ever. Let's stand bow our heads for prayer. Every head bowed. Every eye closed.